Okay, we're back with another Coffee with Coach with Syracuse Crunch head coach Ben Grew. We've got our Duncans here. It's kind of that springtime, so we've gone with the ice. At least I've gone ice coffee. Exactly. Ben. You've stuck with the, uh, the hot the black coffee. Yep, but uh, it's spring here. It's getting spring to France, and that's where you spent some time in your playing and coaching career as well. Yeah, exactly. I spent uh, more than 10 years in Europe, mostly in France, and uh, I had the opportunity to coach uh, minor hockey. And uh, one of the great stories in my coaching career happened there. Like, uh, if you ask me four or five, my favorite uh, story in hockey is probably it's in the top five for sure. Even though it's in France, Bantam. Uh, we uh, long story short. I'll try to make it short <laughs> because try. it's a long story. Uh, we we uh, we only have one goalie that year. And uh, we don't have any enough players in the suburb of Paris uh, that we are. And uh, we're looking for goalie just outside the area. C couldn't find one. And we had a player on our team that wanted to be a goalie. Uh, he's never played goalies before. Uh, so everybody, like, he's, he's playing on the third line. And uh, we have only third, three lines, right? <laughs> So it's convenient for everybody who wants to do it. And as a coach, I said, no problem, but the kids never played that position. So he's not going to go as a backup goalie and not play. We're going to play him. And uh, we had the best team outside Paris, like uh, in the Paris, uh, the North area. And uh, so we would win every game 6-7-1. But well, when our backup goalie was in net, the game was 7-6 or 8-7 because he didn't know how to play. Yeah, right. So we had to teach him uh, everything. And I, I can confirm that I'm a very bad goalie coach. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so so, so he, he's had me as a goalie coach, so it's, it's a bad start. Yeah, but, right uh, behind the eight ball. For yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, we tried our best, but we're having a great season. We finished first, and but then... At the end of the year, you have the, the playoff, and then you have the uh, re regional, and then you want to go to Final Four. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have a round robin to uh, qualify. And normally with our team, we, we should qualify it pretty easily. And, uh, but to make sure uh, that we would win at least two games, we, uh, the parents organize a meeting and uh -oh. they decided that Ludo would not play uh -oh. because uh, well we all know that he's he's not the best at his position and we don't want to lose an opportunity to be in the final four so uh, so we we had a discussion and I told them I said look it's my job to pick the right game it's around Robin the top two teams are going there and uh, so uh, he's gonna play for sure he's gonna play and uh, so we put him in that one game, and we're lucky enough. We won the first two games. We were already uh, qualified for the – so no stress, yeah. no panic. <laughs> Let's go. You picked the right games. Pick the right game. We're going in the Alps, and we're going for, for the final four. So big meeting again. This time it's set in stone. He's not playing. <laughs> we want to win the gold medal. And uh, so we, we had discussion till late at night till late in the night with with the parents and it ended up like hey if he's not playing I'm not coaching so he, you, you you decide yeah. like he's part of our team he's made all the sacrifices all year he's never missed a practice uh, his family they had cottage in Canada in the US in the Alps Switzerland mm -hmm. very wealthy family and he would never miss a practice during uh, a ski holiday because he, he told us that, you know, having a practice with one goal is boring. And we all know that. Yeah. So he said, I'll go this summer, I'll go another time. So it's values are very important. Yeah. And I thought it was great from him, a, a kid of 14 years old. So, and you know, it's Bantam, we're in France, we're not playing for <laughs> Olympic gold medal. So. We, we had so many talk and finally said, hey, I'll pick the right game and we'll be fine. And, but I picked the wrong game. 
<laughs> that, that was their problem because we figured that this team would beat this team and this, yeah. uh, and it didn't happen like that yeah. at all. So we we thought that the last game, like in the previous uh, Ron Robin, the last game would would the, we would be champion already, uh -huh. and it didn't happen like that. So the night before that game, another meeting. What <laughs> <laughs> a lot of meetings! Oh uh, yeah, 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 another meeting and. There's, and even his father came to me. He said, we don't want to jeopardize anything. And, uh, and I told us, hey, he's playing. That's it, it's done. So, uh, and then what, what I, like we had the top two defensemen in the country. And I guarantee you that they were always on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> we had 4D, three lines 4D. And those guys, Didn't they, get they were, and I remember playing in overtime in, in that uh, tournament, and the two other D, they told me, we don't want to go on the ice. Wow. Take a timeout medal, let them play two and a half minutes, take a timeout, go back. We don't want to make the team lose. So I didn't know how to react back then. I'm like, is, is it good? Yeah, is this right <laughs> I, or wrong? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, those two defensemen, they, they had a meeting in the room. I remember there was a curtain, there was no door, there was a curtain. Uh, between where we were and the players and they had a meeting in the room and I'll never forget 14 years old kid they're in the room before the final final game that we got to win and they're talking to their teammates and they're like today we can't allow one shot on net <laughs> no shot on net we got to block everything we got to stop everything don't let them come in our zone <laughs> And we won the game 4-0. Uh, there you go. We played our best game. You, see, you had a shutout. We didn't let them come in our zone. <laughs> like, our best players were unreal. And after the game, it, it's, like I said, his family was very wealthy. We had caviar, Ooh. champagne, oh, the cigars. Uh -huh. I said, maybe we're at the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong initially. You didn't think it was, but it turned yeah. out to be. Yeah, yeah. So great great stories because I, I, uh, I learned that day as a coach, that's a long time ago, I learned that day as a coach that uh, when you make a decision for the right reason, often it, it's paying off. Yeah, it works out. Well, it worked out there. That's a, that's a great story, Ben. Thanks for sharing it. All right, thank you.